Today we go over new details for Star Wars Episode 9, the final film of the Skywalker Saga and the sequel trilogy alike currently being directed by J.J. Abrams. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, as you all know, Episode 9 is currently filming over in the UK. After that, they plan on filming over in Italy and Sicily and even on, you know, in other locations throughout Europe. They're really trying to to do a lot of on-location shots for Star Wars Episode 9 to really make it feel authentic and tangible. Now, the thing is with J.J. Abrams, a lot of people have been wondering as to what's going on with the whole entire rewriting situation, which we went over in my past couple of other videos, if you guys would like to go ahead and check that out. But aside from that, these past couple of weeks, we've been learning a whole lot more about all of the different storyboard and concept art descriptions, as well as different scene schedules for some of the actors and actresses, one of which has all to do with Adam Driver's Kylo Ren. Now, Adam Driver is set to shoot scenes at Pinewood in the UK the third week of October for a cockpit sequence. A large cockpit sequence is currently being constructed for Adam's height. The cockpit so far appears to be similar to that of the Falcons and could line up with the concept art descriptions of Kylo in the Millennium Falcon. A very large green screen will be placed in back of this mechanical set piece. The scene is said to be for a battle scene. This is said to only be a two-day shoot due, due, of course, to Adam Driver shooting a different project as of right now, and the CGI being used to replace the green screen is said to be next-generation technology. Now, though it isn't confirmed that he will be inside of the Millennium Falcon itself, we have heard of the various concept art descriptions months ago about Kylo Ren being inside of the Millennium Falcon. I don't know if you guys remember that. It was a big story. And now hearing that he's actually getting his own cockpit being constructed over at Pinewood, specified to his height when he sits inside of it. Could this be the Millennium Falcon or could this very well be a new ship of his aside from the TIE Silencer? Now the TIE Silencer was that ship that we saw in The Last Jedi that he used to attack the Radish ship in the very beginning of the movie. Now, we have heard also a couple of months ago that Kylo will have a new shuttle in this film. So it could either be the Millennium Falcon that he's inside of or his new ship or shuttle in Episode 9. And to tell you the truth, I think it would be very fitting if Kylo Ren got the chance to pilot the Millennium Falcon for whatever reason it may be. Maybe that's when he redeems himself. Maybe he steals it. I don't know. All I know is that there's a deleted scene in The Force Awakens in which Kylo reminisces the past in which he goes inside of his father's ship inside of the Millennium Falcon and looks through the cockpit. Now that scene is of course when the Falcon is already crash landed on the planet Starkiller base and that's when he actually steps inside of it, that deleted scene. Not quite sure if they count that as canon, but if you guys know about that let me know in the comments. But looking at episode 9, it seems like they're trying to do a lot of new things with the character of Kylo, which is always great. I know a lot of you guys want to hear that he's going to be more of an intimidating character, which I'm really hoping to see on screen. I'm crossing my fingers for that. The only thing that, the only thing that we do know about Kylo is that they will be evolving him as a character significantly, and his relationship with Rey will also be evolving significantly. So those, those two things we do know. As far as him being a more sinister character, we're not quite sure about that just yet. We do know that they're changing some appearances for the character, so hopefully those changes will actually make the audience fear Kylo Ren a whole lot more in comparison to how people view him in The Force Awakens and in The Last Jedi. Like I say, I feel like that Kylo needs a win in this movie. I don't know if you guys agree or disagree, but I feel like that he's been losing way too much. The battle on Starkiller Base, he lost to Rey. The battle on Crate, he lost to Luke Skywalker, right? Though, hey, it's always great to see Luke win. I'm always looking at the villain of the film. If you want to fear a villain, I just feel like that he has to have some kind of, you know, 
I guess you could say, wins over the other opponent, the hero of the movie. So looking at episode 9 here, I feel like that something has to happen against another hero that'll make him more feared in this movie. He'll be more of a sinister character. So when it comes to Kylo Ren as a character in Star Wars Episode 9, that's the thing a lot of people hope for. As far as this cockpit sequence that's to be shot in October for a two-day two shoot, it sounds very similar to the TIE silencer scenes, which it really didn't take all that long to film. I believe it might have been a week tops, I'm not quite sure but they did build that just for him, for his own height and everything. And it seems as so that they are doing something very much similar to, to that in a sense for Adam Driver in this scene. So maybe it's not the Millennium Falcon, maybe it is. Regardless, he is in a new ship aside from his normal shuttle and his TIE silencer. It's either the Falcon or a completely brand new ship. The next generation technology, CGI being used to replace the green screen, we'll have to wait and see exactly what that will consist of in the background and I couldn't be more excited. But anyways guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you also very much for the content and support and I'll catch you guys next time. Mm -hmm.